Hey, Farmer Carey, how are the worms doing? Mr. Levasseur, the worms are doing great. In fact, it's time for us to feed them. So let's look. These are our wonderful in-ground worm bins. And if you ever want to make terrific worm compost, in-ground worm bins is the way to go. And what we do is we're layering our scraps and see all of the lettuce we gave them last week is eaten up. Here's a few potatoes sprouting. So it is time to feed them. And what we do to feed our worms is we have, now for the school we have what's called pre-plate. It hasn't been eaten or leftovers. This is just food scraps that we have that are pre-plate. Okay, there we go. We're gonna, here's some stuff from a food distributor who will go unnamed. The peas weren't very good. Now, let's see if this is enough. Okay, I'm gonna spread it out. Chop that up a little bit. Now, I think that could take a little bit more. So let's see, uh-oh, it's over here. Let's see what we got here. That does not smell good, Farmer Carey. Well, we might have left it out a little long waiting for them to... Okay, this looks yummy. Okay, here we go. Woo! Now, the fact that that is kind of gushy is okay. Worms don't mind gushy food. Oh, here's a little carrot tops from Wynn. That, that's been a little gushy too. That's okay. All right. So, let me see if I have enough. The worms are probably really excited about this. They're excited because there's so many bacteria in here that they're going to be eating. Should have worn my plastic gloves for this one. Okay, so let me get another one. Super gushy. Okay. Oh, that is really yummy worm food. Okay, sometimes I let the carrots get gushy on purpose because otherwise they're a little hard for the wormies to digest. Now, you see I have all this great worm food for them. There we go. A little layer of it. Now what we're going to do, always stick your knife like that. Okay, let's back up here. Now what we have, aged horse manure is what we use for our bedding. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle it over the worms. And this is the bedding. It stops flies from, from laying eggs in, in the, uh, in the uh, food scraps. You should never use, by the way, meat. That really attracts flies. But sometimes fruit flies will get in if your, your bedding isn't um, uh, deep enough. Let me just uh, get this a little closer. And sometimes I get a little lazy and uh, I'll just dump some in like this. And I kind of know how much to do. And then I'll spread it out. Goes a little faster than lots of shovels. Okay. I think I might need just a little more, not too deep. You don't want it to be too deep because otherwise you just have a big pile of manure. You want to be able to layer your food scraps Okay, I think I'm just going to get a little shovel full in that corner. Okay, does that look good? Not too deep. One more little shovel full. Did you see any, can you see any food there, Miss Levasseur? Did I get all covered up? It looks like you covered it all up. Yep, just that one little corner. Here we go. This is a homemade worm bin, so it wasn't exactly... Um, got a little crook, kind of funky here, but it works. So, look at that. We fed our worms with a layer of food scraps. Then we put the aged horse manure on top. And you can use other things too, different kinds of bedding. Don't have to have aged horse manure. You can use leaves, some people use peat, some people do newspapers, but we like our aged horse manure. And now we'll watch it. The worms are gonna come up and let's check it next week and see how they're doing. Yeah? I can hardly wait. 
So that's what our worm bins are doing. They are munching away at all our food scraps. And that means that all your food scraps don't have to go in the garbage and they become nutritious amendments for your garden. Let's go look at some stuff that's been done down here. This is a worm bin that's been all eaten up. Okay. Now here are those rascally carrots, see? They, but look at this, isn't that beautiful? See how soft it is? That was all food. See how long that? did that take, Farmer Carey? Well, it depends on the temperature and how well you feed it, but this whole bin took a couple months, but each layer may only take a week to two weeks if it's warm outside and maybe a month if it's cold. So this, this takes a few months, but, uh, but we munched up the worms, munched up, here's a few still left over. But they, we're using this now when we, when we plant starts, then we throw a little worm castings in it. It's like a little, little uh, nutrition bomb for them. And it's also full of all the great soil microbes that help make a healthy soil, healthy soil food web. So it's, it's, it's full of all that um, uh, transformed food, got eaten by the worm, went through the gut, pooped out. It's worm manure. So that's fantastic. And uh, it helps our plants grow really well. So that's our worm bins. And, and we've got a whole bunch of them. And we'll, uh, we'll see how that one is doing next week. Sound like a plan? That does. Thank you very much, Farmer Carey. You're very welcome. Bye, Mr. Levasseur. Bye. <laughs>